Hey, did you know that you can go to ColinMullen.com to get art and art prints? That's why he set up a website, ColinMullen.com. Uh, so hey, everybody, I'm, I'm here with my wife, and we're going to talk about this painting. Um, sorry, the beginning's a little blurry. I just kind of forgot to focus the camera. That's my bad. But uh, this is of our first dance, and um, it, I've attempted this painting before, and uh, it just didn't come out good enough, and so I kind of held it off for a year. Uh, it was going to be our the gift for our 4 slash 10 anniversary because we decided to make our, our wedding anniversary the same as our um, dating one, I guess. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I was just thinking we could maybe talk about like, you know, the wedding a little bit. Just have something to talk yeah. about. This was like pre-COVID, which was nice. Uh, yeah, COVID this was... was about a year before COVID actually hit. Yeah, it was still 2019 though, right? Yeah, it was early 2019 because COVID didn't really hit until March 2020. Right. Because we were able to celebrate our one year anniversary of being married um, at the same venue that we um, got married at. Got married at and we vowed, hey, let's do this every year and then COVID hit. Right. So, you know. It was kind of just a small thing. We didn't have a whole bunch of people come. I think we had like less than 30 people. Um, yeah, we had. Uh, we had your I immediate think we had family. Planned to have like fifty people, uh -huh. but it, it rounded up being like thirty to maybe forty people, sure. and it was just um, you know our family, some close friends. Um, yeah. Yeah, we didn't want to go like super hardcore with it just because like it's expensive. We didn't want to be in a lot of debt. Yeah, for real. Because weddings, the weddings are expensive. Yeah. Um, they can be. Yeah. And a, an expensive wedding doesn't necessarily equal a good wedding. And, it, you know, inexpensive wedding also doesn't mean that it's a bad wedding. Right. Everyone was complimenting our wedding, actually, and, like, how nice it was. And just, like... Yeah. It was really nice, um, mostly because of where we chose to do it. They were able to, like, just take over all of the planning. They gave us options. or like, you can pick from these colors that we have we'll set it all up if you want decorations you know have somebody in your uh party set them up for you and yeah it was they took a lot of the weight off of our shoulders and i would yeah. highly recommend that yeah, yeah. we just went through a, a hotel um and mm -hmm. like they did the catering for us uh yeah mm -hmm. there were like three options for napkin colors we didn't have like everything under the sun um, yeah, and you know, I remember when we were planning our wedding and stuff, like they were very surprised how chill we were about stuff because it was more like, well, I don't really care what color the napkins are. It was more about like the event itself. Right. And yeah, we had a really good um, uh, wedding manager that was assigned to us. She was great. Mm -hmm. um, they just made it super simple. Um, I think in total we spent like uh, $5,000. Right, which relative to weddings is like nothing. You can spend right. hundreds of thousands of dollars on weddings. Right, and, and that's not our speed. We're not very no. um, uh, extravagant people. Yeah, no, and like we, we kind of broke even on like stuff that people gifted us anyway. So it's like, yeah, by... and we didn't ask for anything right extravagant we just were like hey we you know we want to start our lives together and we started um like a nest egg fund mm -hmm. uh which is kind of a newer concept and some people like you know poo poo it but honestly it's better than getting like several toasters toasters or dishes or um you know a kitchen aid mixer like things that we wouldn't really necessarily need right so yeah it was nice it was nice um yeah i mean like i would do it again i'd marry you again yeah i'd do it again totally yeah so yeah this um past year which is so weird it was our 5 11 anniversary um five years of being married 11 years of um being together right and February is always our crazy busy month because that's when all of the major mm -hmm. events happen, if you didn't know. Yeah. 
uh, your, it's your my birthday, birthday right. Valentine's Day, your birthday, and then at the end of the month, our anniversary. It's the shortest month of the year, but we got everything into it. <laughs> and it's basically like every week, and there's much less of a mm-hmm. gap between like, I don't know. It's part of the reason that we're not like super hardcore about Valentine's Day anymore, because yeah, just like... <laughs> totally, because it's kind of like it's a lot. Yeah, it can be a lot, we, and we just like I don't know. Maybe yeah, get something day, like some DoorDash yeah, something. Day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's just kind of a day for us. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's talk about this painting a bit. Sure. I mean. You said that you were going to do this. I, I, I wanted to do this year. like for the, the four year anniversary, but just mm-hmm. it did not come out well. It's at the beginning of the video. I'll have to show you that bit. Um, yeah, that's fine. But uh, it it's uh it, it wasn't coming out well, and I was feeling rushed, and I'm like, I could give this to her, but it's not good, and so I don't want to do that, you know? I think I vaguely remember you telling me about this last year. Mm-hmm. So last year, um, we actually finally did our honeymoon. Oh yeah. Um, for our ten year anniversary, not our four year anniversary. It's silly. Ten, ten four. Um, right. Ten four. <laughs> And it's and it was great. Like yeah. it was great. Yeah, and also not spending a bazillion dollars on the wedding meant that we could just, you know, have a nicer yeah, have... uh honeymoon and like even still we didn't spend all that much money on the honeymoon either. Uh, no. So what we did last year for our ten four was um we rented a tiny cabin for three days, I wanna say. Should have been longer. And that was so was, good. It was just our speed. Mm-hmm. Um, it was more of glamping yeah. than really camping, but if you've ever been camping, like, you yeah. know, it can be kind of It was all rough, the cool but... parts of camping without, like, the bad parts. Like Exactly. We could exactly. see wildlife out our window. Like, it had this huge bay window out the back of the cabin. They were kind of like trailers, but fancy. It was like a tiny home. Yeah, um, it was essentially a tiny home that we stayed at for three days, and I would highly recommend it to anybody who wants to try it. It was really nice, um, and it was just outside of. It was far it enough wasn't away so remote from right that, like, if there was something hap- like something wrong or something you needed, like you could still make a drive somewhere and pick up what you needed. It wasn't super remote, but it was remote enough where it was relaxing. Right. I mean, at night you could like hear like wild animals out there just kind of like doing their thing or like Mm -hmm. you could see the stars and it was just nice. You know, it was really nice. Um, Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know. I I think the painting came out good for the most part. There's a couple things that I wish I I had more time to fix. Like the, Mm -hmm. the hands look a little weird, but like the the reference image I have for this is kind of grainy. And so it's kind of yeah. hard to tell exactly what's going on on yeah. whose hand is whose. Um, but I mean, like, you know, it looks enough like me and it looks like you um, uh-huh. for for people to know what it is. And, and yeah. you almost cried. So I'd say that's a win. <laughs> Making your wife cry. Yeah. Wins. Wins. Um, yeah. So this exact scene, I was just thinking about our um, first dance. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the song because it wasn't a song that... It wasn't a song we specifically chose. Mm-hmm. It's actually a song your dad played for us. Right. I can't remember it because. Uh, I. I it mean, it wasn't actually a song I knew. Yeah, it was also just like we had just got done doing the wedding vows thing, and I was like shaking was and kind crying, of, yeah. and I hadn't slept well because I was like, "Oh yeah, man, this is so." Well. Yeah, it was such. Well, also like you weren't there because like that's mm-hmm. the thing about weddings is like you have to go somewhere else for a bit and then you come back and I get to see you the next day. Um, But it's like, okay, I'm not used to sleeping alone. Everything's going to go right. Like this is a big Mm -hmm. day. This is important to me. And we had just done that whole thing. And then it's like, now dance for us. And then I think I realized like maybe a few days before the wedding that we hadn't. We don't know how to dance. Right. Yeah. Like we had done swing dancing and stuff, but that's not really appropriate for that. Um, And we weren't any... We weren't Personally, good at, yeah. I'm not any good at swing dancing. I'm really terrible at dancing. I get my left and my right confused, mm-hmm. and it's frustrating. Um, but I remember exactly like why we were smiling and all of that stuff. Like I remember that. Yeah. Um, so because neither of us knew what the hell we were doing, and we're in front of like 
your family, my family, your friends, my friends, mm -hmm. and his all eyes on us, and all these cameras pointed at us, and I'm just like, we're just gonna do the awkward shuffle. Mm -hmm. the little and tiny that's shuffles. why we were laughing. Right. And um, I, I clearly remember the awkward shuffle because, yeah. yeah, we didn't plan on having like this big dance routine or anything like that. We had a dance floor, but like literally we we're the only ones who danced. Yeah, I mean, like um, you did a, a, a dance with your dad, I believe, and then I danced with my mom. But like, yeah, that's true. That's true. So there's three dances. There's father daughter dance. There was a mother son dance. And then there was our dance. And mm -hmm. I think... I don't I, think I anyone else danced. Order. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I forget <laughs> the order, but yeah, um, and it was it was sweet. I, you know, I wouldn't really change anything about our wedding. Like no. I think our wedding was great. Yeah. Um, it was very us. Mm -hmm. Like it was laid back. We were with the people we loved and cared about, and um, it was a special day. And I, I wasn't a bridezilla at the least. Not at all. Like, I was barely, like, there. Because I'm like, I, I... It's... There's so many more special moments that I want to have with you that mm -hmm. putting all of it into one day seems kind of ridiculous. That's such and a good way And when people, of like, put such an emphasis on this is my special day, it seems like you're kind of missing the point. Like, right. this is the start supposed of something to be the start of your lives together right it's not uh i'm the star of the day like yeah but, you are to an extent but so is your partner mm -hmm. and, um like so everyone I was never your, like that everyone and your brother is going to tell you that you need to do this big old bombastic like huge thing that you're going to be in debt for like however long for but like yeah like no. oh yeah 20 grand you know ask Jesus. your parents for money and 20 grand is honestly like on the cheaper side which is mind-blowing yeah um, i don't know why someone the would fact that. that we were able to do it for like, around about like five thousand dollars is amazing and that's counting like tux rental and your dress yes. and the food catering flowers flowers catering. um, um yeah, a, a hotel room for the the night of because just like mm -hmm. I was exhausted afterwards. Like we yeah. we sat down and we had our food and I was like, I'm really glad we're done with the hard part, you know? Like, yeah. and then it was just us hanging out basically and having mm -hmm. food, and mm -hmm. uh, then we went and hung out with people. It, it was great. Yeah, and it was so funny. So we I stayed at the hotel the night before. Um, with my best friend who is uh my maid of honor that was the other thing um we did not have a huge procession of people it was we had a maid of honor and we had a best man and mm. that was it right um and so i stayed with the maid of honor the night before in the hotel room and then um hootie stayed with me he was my best man he stayed yeah. at the apartment he was great he, he messed with me some he's like oh you've got the ring right I'm like, no, no. He's like, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you were so tense. And it was so funny because of the two of us, you were the one crying. And I don't oh, yeah. think I cried once. No. But when I'm under pressure, I get really um, jokey and funny. There's a really like, cute picture of you, like, after we got done saying our vows and, like, we did our kiss and all that. Like, of you doing, like, a really celebratory, like, raise our hands up in the air. Like, hooray, we did it. Yeah. I think you even said that. <laughs> you were super cute. We have our vows. Um, we saved them. We have them framed. Mm -hmm. And we have them in a spot where we can see them. And it's just nice to every now and then just like walk over and like read them and go, yeah. I think mine yeah, starts is... with like, I'm going to try and say all this before I start crying or something yeah. along those lines. And yeah. it's like <laughs> failed immediately. I was crying. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I forget the order. Did I say mine first or did you say yours first? I think you went first because you were just like, you were shaking. It was, yeah. And I mean, yeah, because I was like, so excited to see you. I hadn't seen you for a whole day. Right, and it's and like, I think there was everyone's like, talking about like, oh, you know, you love your wife and all that. And I'm like, yeah, where is she? I want to hang out with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just remember just, my face hurt from smiling so much like i think 
I, I can't remember another day where I've smiled that much. Are you going to make me cry again? And it was it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would do it again. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for some wedding advice, I think we can give a little bit of that. Sure. Um, so my my biggest piece of advice is when you are looking, if you're looking to buy a wedding dress, first off, don't go don't go to an establishment and say you're looking for a wedding dress. Mm -hmm. You just need to say you need a white dress for a formal event and it will be so much cheaper. Yeah. Anything tied with wedding or bridal mm -hmm. or bachelorette mm -hmm. or bachelor is going to be jacked up in price mm -hmm. um, arbitrarily. Because you kind of went to my bachelor party. I mean, it was kind of like your family. It was a joint party. Yeah. yeah we Like we went to like uh, a nerd yeah. store and like hung out for a second and we went a couple other places like we didn't yeah. go like drinking we had, like, or whatever. A game night yeah we had game night <laughs> which was right. awesome yeah but the other thing i was gonna say we also did things kind of on the like cheap so um i made gifts for all of the wedding guests mm -hmm. and I, I forget how much it cost in total but we gave everybody gifts we did the invitations ourselves. We went to Office Depot oh, yeah. and had it printed on cardstock so we can mail it out. Um, rather than saying it was wedding invitations, we just made invitations. Right. And we got it printed out, and it was like, it. Was, I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I do remember like, if we wanted to get wedding invitations specifically, mm -hmm. it was, it was ridiculous how much more it costs to get that printed versus mm -hmm. getting um like just things printed normally so like avoid saying you're one getting married and right. two like what the event is um because it will lower your cost yeah because a lot of this industry is um feeding off of people's emotions like hey don't you want this to be your special day this is your special day do you want to do yeah, you want people I, to remember. Like, the I thing walked that out of a ring store because uh, the guy was like, "Oh, you want an amethyst ring? Because you know that's the the stone for February, and it for all the reasons she was just talking about, that's way mm -hmm. more important than a diamond to me. Uh, mm -hmm. Not to mention just like diamond trade stuff in general. Um, mm -hmm. so don't you want something that'll last forever? And I'm like, I'm leaving. Like you're trying to you're trying to emotionally manipulate me. Yeah, like get out there, of here. There's a lot of that too because it is you know it's a very an emotional time. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know if you're looking for wedding stuff, just say it's for a formal event. Right. Because as soon as you bring in wedding stuff, that like guilt of oh well don't you want it to be special this yeah. is your only time of getting married like, yeah. this is your one shot of getting it right and it's just don't you want to prove how much you love her mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that kind of stuff they will try and guilt you into stuff and it's just no right at the end of the day also... what people are going to remember is they're if they remember all the decorations and stuff mm -hmm. like that but they don't remember the wedding you screwed up like yeah make it about you and whoever you're marrying and yeah. how important that is and yeah because that that's exactly. the point right <laughs> exactly and also the other thing that i would like to say about weddings is mm -hmm. like you don't necessarily have to follow all of the traditions oh yeah if you don't want to exactly um because i remember my mom getting very into like all of the etiquette of weddings which was hilarious because my parents, um, they just went to the courthouse and signed documents. Yeah. And but when we, when Colin and I announced that we were engaged and we we're getting married, my mom was like, we need to do this. We need to do this. You need to do this. You mm -hmm. need to have this. And I just kind of decided like, okay, some of those things. Yeah, we did. We did an engagement party because um, a lot of my family couldn't make it to Texas right. to our wedding mm -hmm. so we had an engagement party in new york for my family who couldn't go um and it was really nice because yeah. it was a celebration it was another party um and then um you know one of the things that we didn't do that's a tradition in the south is we didn't do um it was called a bachelor cake where there's oh a yeah step, a i totally forgot a about a that cake <clears throat> And part of the reason we didn't do that was we didn't have that many people. 
at the wedding. Oh, yeah. So having two cakes was a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and it, it just reminded me of Steel, like that scene from Steel Magnolias where the groom requests a cake in the shape of an armadillo and then it's red velvet cake and you're eating this <laughs> animal shaped cake that is red inside. I just thought it was hilarious and I didn't know that was a thing. And um, I think one of your aunts, mm-hmm. she offered to Buy get it, one. Yeah. And, you know, that's just not us. Like, no. we're really like, I think we ate all the cake. Somebody was like, oh, don't you want to save some in the freezer? I'm like, no, no. Because then it'll go bad. In the like freezer. what? <laughs> yeah, that's a thing people do. And I was like, well, maybe instead of like doing that, we could just order another cake next year from the same place. Right. So, you know, and then I think we did that. Are, yeah. Traditions are make your own, you know, make your own. Exactly. Like you can follow some of them. Mm-hmm. You don't have to follow all of them or you don't have to follow any of them. So mm-hmm. like take that pressure off yourself that's the other advice i have for that i mean again at the end of the day it's about like a celebration of you know love Mm -hmm. and um bringing people together to like experience that and be there for that it doesn't have to be anything more or less than that like that's that's what it is and i didn't want a whole bunch of other stuff getting in the way of people seeing us Mm -hmm. like i don't know just exactly i love you um i love you too yeah yeah um yeah i like i like how this painting turned out it's it's very it's very beautiful i want to get a frame for it mm-hmm. so anyway we should thank the people on uh, patreon.com slash rev scarecrow that donated five dollars or more thank you to everyone who helps support this art channel um it means a lot to me it allows me to keep making videos like this one uh so extra special thank you to my mom and dad i love you Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Tofoundor. Thank you, Skelacorgi. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Oh, is that how you pronounce that? Oh my I, god, I've been... I, I'm gonna say Hollinger. That's probably how are you right. It? Oh, I've been pronouncing it super wrong for a while. Oh. Uh, whoops. <laughs> well, uh, if they can also message you. True. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Josepher. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Freak Wannabe. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bungle Paws. Thank you, Pep. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Ants! Sorry, I forgot we were on Discord as well. Was that really loud? No, it didn't okay. even pick up on my end. Oh, okay, because it went too loud. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Thank you for doing this with me. Yeah. I think it was you nicer. For me. Oh. Yeah. I'll I always have so. you. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye. Bye.